Hello, it's Lloyd Lewis here. Um, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how I start a landscape. And I've been looking at um, doing a lot of starting and pictures recently with my videos and things, but I think it's really important. Um, this is, I'm not putting myself as an expert here in any way, shape or form. I'm learning, learning, learning. I am a complete novice when it comes to landscapes, but this is what I've learned so far. So yeah. Right, as always, I start off with some burnt sienna just to kind of coat the there. You can see at the end, under, underneath, I've drawn um, my landscape. It's going to be some rolling Welsh hills. And um, what I really am looking for in this really small little landscape painting is to kind of show distance and depth. All right. Okay, so this is the palette that I'm going to be using today to paint my landscape. Um, so we've got titanium white. There. I love that titanium white, that's Winsor Newton Professional Titanium White. I absolutely love it, it's like painting with cream, it's just gorgeous. We've got phthalo green, I'm going to be using that very, very sparingly because it's really, really strong. It's a bit of a bully when it comes to the palette. Hooker's green here, cobalt teal, this is really useful when trying to get those that depth of colour. So you kind of add a little bit of cobalt teal and it really pushes things back. We've got manganese blue hue here. I'm just experimenting with this today. Some raw sienna, burnt umber, no, raw umber, burnt umber, and yellow oxide there. All right, so that's the palette. And I'm currently early, early, early stages of blocking in. All right, so. So a little bit of a revision. I've decided to include ultramarine there, ultramarine blue, into my palette because it makes a really lovely um, black or dark colour with uh, burnt amber there. So um, I wasn't quite getting, I didn't have, I felt I didn't have anything to kind of really strongly um, make a nice dark colour. So I'm still in the early, early, early stages of my uh, blocking in. Um, but yeah, this is where it's going. Very broad, always start broad shapes. And I'm trying to get that kind of distance, so I'm going to pick out those tones and things and try and get the sun over those rolling hills, but yeah, early doors at the moment. Okay, so I've finished the blocking in stage. I've just basically got very broad shapes here, and I'm looking at the kind of, now I'm going to start to kind of finesse and get a little bit more um, looking at structure. I'm staying away from details and fine details. I know apart from that little bit in the corner there, um, because... I just wanted something to kind of, you know, make the foreground stand out. So I've got, I've got that there. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it at the moment. There's still a long, long way to go for this little one. And I want to try and really capture the beautiful sunlight um, rolling over these beautiful Welsh hills. So yeah, um, if you can see as well, the colour tones, the variation at the back. We've got lots of blues. I use a lot of cobalt teal in here to kind of create that space. Um, and then in the foreground, I've got a lot more kind of color, you know, with um, using raw, uh, raw sienna and yellow oxide and a little bit of burnt umber as well to kind of bring those reds and things out. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm I must say I'm enjoying this so far. It's, it's nice. and. Uh, I'm, I always start, um, been told to start at the distance, at the far end, you know, so, and, bring, and come forward. So hopefully we can kind of start to see some distance already in there. Um, okay, so this is where we are at the moment. Just getting um, dark values, lighter values, and just to kind of try and create a sense of depth within the landscape. I'm going to look at the foreground in a little bit more detail next, but I want to try and just establish that depth. And uh, I think looking at it now, I need to make sure that the, um, the, the hills that are further back I need to make sure they're a little bit lighter and a little bit bluer. But yeah, this is it. So this is where we're at the moment. Okay, the rolling hills of Wales. Starting to get a little bit of light there. Starting to, get, starting to hopefully get the idea that the sun is kind of shining down. Hopefully you can see that. Thanks guys. Um, this is where we're go I'm going to leave it for a little while. I'm starting to kind of consolidate the clouds, I think. Um, skies are something I very, very rarely paint, as is a, a landscape, essentially. But um, just trying to kind of get this, you know, to a point where I'm happy with. Um, it's still, I think, got a long, long way 
to go. But um, yeah, right now I'm starting to put in a little bit more work on the foreground. Um, and again, to try and get some contrast with the background as well, making those colours stand out, putting a little bit more reds and browns in there. Um, I want to try and get that idea that we're looking over the hill into the valley and looking at those rolling hills. I'm going to have a little bit more of a go on the sky now and make that a bit more kind of, um, well, looking like a sky, you know. It's, it's just splodgy and blo blotchy at the moment, but I want it to be... Uh, nice and con you know compact and looking looking like a good Welsh sky rain clouds and things all right so yeah working towards um, I've probably got another couple of hours on this and then we're gonna I'm gonna call it a day I'm quite happy with where we're going so far so here we have the final piece um, finished as close to finished as I want it to be anyway so um, quite happy with it. It's, I think this is my fourth ever landscape so you know I'm, I'm under no illusions that I'm going to be creating masterpieces. I've learned a lot. I feel like I've got the depth and I think it's really um, you know come on I know I can do a little bit more work on the clouds and I know I can get a little bit better sky. I think I've learned some nice things there though and um, I'm going to apply that in my next landscape. So yeah that's that piece finished. Onwards, next piece, I'm going to finish this my latest commission. I might share that with you on YouTube as well, so we'll see. Anyway, so if you like, enjoyed that video, um, the landscape tutorial, then please comment below. Let me know what you got, got from that. And um, while you're commenting, you know, give a like as well to the video. That would be really helpful. And if you enjoyed it, if you've, liked, if you've watched some of my other pieces, other videos, then why not subscribe? All right? Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.